What's happening guys? We're gonna go back to the film room here and uh, I'm actually gonna pause it right here and we're gonna look into a game uh, South Regional Finals between Double Wide and Chain. I'm playing on Double Wide and we're gonna look at two different situations here. Uh, both of them are gonna be on offense but both are gonna be a little bit different and I'm gonna look a little bit at my decision making and what I'm looking on the field and hopefully that'll give you guys a couple pointers. So we're gonna play it on here and uh, Kurt's get the disc here and we're actually gonna stop it. Now this is a couple points into the game and basically after the few points I've, I've noticed that every single time Kurt gets the disc, Chain is positioning downfield backing, meaning that they're getting, they're giving away unders and they're making sure that Kurt can't hurt them with his deep hucks. Knowing that, I immediately go under, and we're gonna play it again here. I immediately go under to get the disc, and then me and Kurt kind of dish it back and forth to each other here a little bit. And actually, I'm going to end up getting fouled here a little bit. I drew the contact a little bit, but it was aggressive. I'm going to pause it right here. It was an aggressive mark, so I was able to get um, a foul call. And so now what we're going to look at is me having the disc. I have, I believe, salad as my dump. And uh, really what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give Kurt about 10 seconds, or not 10 seconds, I'm going to give Kurt about 6 seconds to try to get open. Um, I, I feel comfortable breaking the mark. Uh, so it really gives Kurt the ability to go either way and Kurt's a very dynamic player and it's going to be very difficult for the defense to stop him for those six to seven seconds that I give him. So we're going to play it again here. And I give a shot out in the space to Kurt right on the goal line and Kurt ends up getting fouled. So we're going to pause it. So basically him getting fouled allowed me to get kind of in position here. I'm, I'm directly even with Kurt. The goal line is that blue line that you see right there. And what Kurt's going to do is he's going to do the same thing I just did for him. Is He's going to give me a solid six seconds to try to get open, either on the four side or on the break side. Um, and we're going to play this actually in slow motion here so you can kind of see what's going down. As uh, we gain eye contact, I move into the field, into a better position. You can't really see where I am. It'll move around here for a second. Okay, and so now I've made my move to the four side, um, and I'm really putting a lot of pressure on the defensive player right here to have to stop that four side. You can see I have a little separation right here, and so as I see Kurt pivot back around, I know he's not going to throw it, and so I move back to the break side, and there it is. Um, I'm going to pause and play out the you know little celebration there, but as we pause it here, something to take note there is me and Kurt had eye contact the entire time, and we knew exactly what we each of us wanted to do. As I went to the four side and Kurt pivot back, a lot of players just give up on the play. I've played with Kurt long enough that I know him pivoting back, he's just setting up that break side cut. And so that's something to kind of work with your chemistry with your throwers and your receivers is understanding each other's tendencies. There I knew exactly what Kurt wanted, and that was an easy break side cut. There's a point a little later in the game. Uh, I want you to notice my head right now. My head, I'm constantly moving back and looking to see exactly what's going down. We're going to pause right here. We're in our horizontal stack. As you can see, I have a big separation between me and my defender, and I know that he's scared of me going deep on him, so I'm going to use that later in the point to my advantage. As we play it on here, I believe there's going to be a little foul call, so they're going to stop play. And... Uh, I'm going into my cut right now looking and I see right there that Kurt has got the disc in the power position. What the power position is is when a handler has caught the disc moving forward down the field. I know the defense is, is very nervous of me going deep and I'm going to use that to my advantage in my cut coming up here. So as we play it along, I'm going to drive hard deep and as we pause it you can see I've created a lot of separation. Now what I want you guys to know here is because I have so much separation there's no need for me to run and sprint at the thrower. I'm going to give him plenty of time to make sure he throws it to me. I'm going to be open for a long time. I have a lot of separation. So as you can see, I'm not running. I'm not sprinting. I'm calling Kurt's name. I'm trying to get his attention and then I get the disc here. That's something I really want you guys to kind of understand is when you're open, you're going to be open. There's no reason for you to sprint to a spot, talk to your thrower, get his attention, and get the disc. That's all we have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Also, click the videos listed above to uh, check out the videos that you might have missed from last week. And also, if you haven't yet, 
Please subscribe. Also, like and favorite this video. I know I just gave you 5,000 things to do, but do it. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday.